You'd have to hope that he can hold on to this title, Barry, because it's been changing hands a little too quickly, hasn't it? Yeah, I have to tell you, I really like that kid. He's a great little boxer, but I don't know how many times I can watch him. Uh, just this, He's only had three knockout wins on his record, only 15 professional fights, but uh, very impressive to watch. But uh, I don't really watch so much of him. Beautiful little tactician. That was recorded earlier. Next, live, Oscar De La Hoya. All is set then. Shane Mosley awaits, but Oscar De La Hoya knows he cannot overlook the job at hand. Ian Dark sets the scene for our top of the bill. What do you give to the boxer who has everything? Fame, money, talent, looks and five world titles. Well, maybe a fight where he's the 30 to 1 on favourite. I wish boxing was as easy as, as the bookmakers would, would make it seem, but um, no, it's it's... It's a tough fight, just like any other one. De La Hoya, who's already loaded, gets another $11 million for meeting the dangerous but faded Mexican knockout specialist, Yori Boy Campas. It could be spectacular while it lasts. I'm not saying he's going to beat Oscar De La Hoya, because I'd, I'd really shoot myself if he did. But he's going to give Oscar a hell of a fight, a real hell of a fight. Campas relies on a jackhammer left hook. It's brought him 68 knockouts and nearly rescued a lost cause last year against WBO champ Daniel Santos. That's a cracking left hand. Look at this from Campas. Suddenly, the fight switches in an instant, and that's what he can do. But Yuri Boy looked slow and ring-worn that night, and you wonder how he can possibly cope with the speed, talent, and brilliance of one of the world's great fighters. They've been desperately peddling stories of Campas taking a secret potion for this fight. He Bob Aram sampled it. I felt tingling, I really did, in my fingers and, and toes. Uh, and uh, that lasted for about a half hour. And then there was just a feeling of well-being. And we've been reminded of boxing's capacity for producing sensations, like Vladimir Klitschko's defeat by Corey Sanders recently. Every day they have a big surprise in, uh, in boxing. Like, uh, this is probably going to be one of the ones because you can see a lot of fighters this year, they have a surprise that nobody believes they can win and they win. But however you dress it up, this is a showcase for De La Hoya ahead of his September bid for revenge against Shane Mosley. I'm looking at campus fight, I'm looking at the Shane Mosley fight, and then Which you're determined to win for the revenge mode. Oh, I have to. I have to. It's a must. Oscar is coming off a great win against Fernando Vargas, and maybe we should enjoy him while he's still around. Just a few more fights and that's it. What, a couple more years? Is that what you're thinking? I think less. Less than I two think less. years? Oh, definitely. The golden boy can box or brawl, win technical fights or tear-ups. It's not a secret potion Campas needs, it's a near miracle. It's a golden reputation. He doesn't want it tarnished here tonight, Nicky, but Eric Morales seemed to have real trouble getting himself up for his job tonight. Yeah. Is it possible that De La Hoya might experience the same thing? I don't think so. I don't think he'll be uh, on his very, very best form, but I think the form he'll be on will be enough, and he'll be professional enough to... Uh, you know, take Campas seriously. Um, he looks focused, very focused. He looked focused when he arrived tonight, and he certainly looks focused there. And um, and, and I don't think Campas is. I mean, that nose tells a story, doesn't it? Really, you know, style of a fighter. But um, big punch, always got a chance. But I, I don't believe that. Um, and he's up for it, obviously. He'd be really focused. But um, I, I think uh, you know. Has too much. He's the man who's got lucky in Las Vegas this yeah. weekend, Campus Barry, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. Well, I, I Getting think, the job. Money well, the fact yeah. that he got the job is right. That's an enormous purse for him, and probably more than he's ever earned before. And hence the reason he's going to do late middleweight again, because he talked about maybe going up to middle, and he has been struggling for some time. He is an explosive puncher. It reminds me of Pepino Cuevas with a little bit more, a little bit more dexterity. The problem is he's slow, and anybody slow against De La Hoya 
is going to have real problems. And Ahoyer's quickness allows him to win all of these fights. It looks like he's on his way out there, Jim. But just as we, we take in Campus uh, going into the arena, you know, he's got fantastic pride and a very good record himself. He's going to go out on his shield if he's going out here. He isn't always he? has done. He'll do that again. All the pressure is on De La Hoya tonight to put up a show. This must be spectacular. All the good fighters that this man's faced has done a job on them. Oscar Lahoya must do at least that. Thank you. Let's rejoin Glenn and Ian then. Yuri Boy Campas on his way for what looks like a mission impossible. But there is always that big, big punch. This is 86th fight tonight. He's got 68 knockouts on his record. And he was, remember, world champion in 96, 97. He won four world championship fights, all by stoppage. But how much is left? And should he be in there with De La Hoya? Well, I don't think he should be. He's getting a, a good chance, isn't he? A marvellous chance to get some money. But it's a very, very tough call for Yori Boy Campus. De La Hoya is about to make what will be a film star style entrance. What? Even for a fight perceived to be something of a mismatch, they're expecting a half a million people in the United States to pay $50 pay-per-view to see that. That would generate 25 million pounds, which is how they come to be paying De La Hoya $11 million for this. Yes, $11 million. That's twice as much as Lennox Lewis got for fighting David Tua, Glenn. I know, it's amazing, but it's all about box office. And one thing about Oscar De La Hoya is he is box office. People want to see him in the ring with anybody. He's also earning ten times what the owner of the Kentucky uh, Derby winner today earned. Funny side. It's incredible, isn't it? It really is. But, I mean, you just got to look around you. It's a crammed arena. Everybody's here to see Oscar De La Hoya. Well, he seems to have it all, doesn't he? Seems to, but he's interesting to, to read the book about him, where he is portrayed up until a few years ago, until he married as a lonely figure who got anxious, nervous, panicky about the whole business. Now he says he's in love with it. Let's see what he does tonight. From the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino of Las Vegas. Top rank incorporated in association with your undisputed, undefeated King of Beers, Budweiser, is proud to present 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC, WBA, Junior Middleweight Championship of the World. Sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission Chairman, Dr. Luther Mack, Executive Director Mark Ratner, the three judges at ringside scoring this contest on the 10-point system will be Hubert Earl, Tommy Kazmarek, and Paul Smith. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, Vic Draculich. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, uh, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red trimmed with green and weighing in at 153 and one half pounds. His professional record, 80 victories, including 68 knockouts against five defeats. From Nova Hoa, Mexico, the challenger, former junior middleweight champion of the world, Yori Boy. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the black trunks and weighing in officially at 154 pounds. He captured Olympic gold in 1992 and now has a professional record consisting of 35 victories, including 28 knockouts with only two defeats. And he has consistently been rated among the best fighters in the world. From East Los Angeles, the former junior lightweight, former lightweight, former super lightweight and former two-time welterweight champion of the world, the reigning, defending, 
junior middleweight champion of the world, El Nino de Oro.